All right, hey, so uh, in the video I uh, made yesterday, it was the uh, new used gear day with the Yamaha DXR15s. Check it out if you ain't seen it, but what we also got in was this replacement under saddle pickup um, for my Epiphone Hummingbird Pro uh, guitar. Uh, it's got a shadow preamp system. This uh, replacement uh, pickup is by Shadow. So I got some running around to do, but uh, when I come back, we're going to try to get this installed and um, uh, see what she sounds like. Hopefully it sounds like it did before. So we'll see what happens when we come back. We'll see you in a second. All right, guys. Welcome inside my guitar. Not sure if this is good or not, but just a little look at, uh, at what we're dealing with. There's a the back side of the shadow preamp there. I'll take you out. So a little bit here, like I said, that phone up in Bird Pro. Uh, I had this one probably about, I'm guessing, five or six years now. And uh, it is, for a cheaper guitar, it has turned into my go-to. I've absolutely loved gigging with this guitar. It's a very dynamic guitar. And yeah, that's my uh, neck support right there. All right, so here is here is the old pickup, the under saddle that was uh, that I took out of there. I don't know what all you can uh, see for that or uh, not see from that. But, um, so obviously this gets wrapped around. Here's a connector that, uh, that plugs into the back of the preamp. What I, uh, what, what was happening was, um, started happening a few times, uh, gigging. If I would, um, start hitting a little heavy, I would start getting this slight, um, cracking or a uh, popping sound. So, I uh, took the strings off one day. It just got so bad I, I, I couldn't use it. And I, I didn't know exactly what it was. So once I figured out there was a problem, I uh, took the strings off and then um, plugged the guitar in, kind of went uh, feeling around, took this out of the uh, the uh, connectors where they have it running up on the uh, upper bout there. Uh, took it off. First, I thought there was a problem right in here. It was kind of making it uh, pop. I didn't know if this is where, where this was been up in there at. Um, and then I seem to have traced it down to this area right here. While it was plugged in, strings were off. Um, I had this part out, left it plugged in, um, hooked it up from the in-pin jack there into a uh, speaker, and then it seemed like everything was originating from right here. When I would touch this, I would start to get the pop. So what I believe happened was, uh, once I took this out, is... The end of the uh, the wire here uh, that connects it seems like it had become partially disconnected from this piece right here. Not sure what you can see or can't see, but that's what I think was going on. So once I trace it down to here, once I once I did screw this out, and maybe you're not supposed to, but there are screws on it, then it was completely disconnected. Then I would get no no sound, no noise whatsoever. So we got our pickup. Um, you guitar pros out there, which I absolutely am not. Um, this is the other part that was in under the um, in under the saddle, and I believe this is just a cheap wooden uh, spacer, um, just to, so that it would have the uh, somewhat correct action from the factory. So I believe I have, that I'm going to end up putting this back in uh, the. Uh, the saddle, obviously, I believe this is a saddle. Like I said, not the guitar. I always screw up the names. You got the nut, you got the bridge, you got the saddle. So um, that's it. This is what's going to be dropped back in. And this is the uh, this is the part number. Uh, it's Shadow Technology with Performance, it says. And just real quick, guys, um, I said before, I really like the uh, Shadow preamp systems. Uh, this is just a very basic E performer, but it runs off the uh, two CR 2032, 3032, or 2032 batteries. And um, like I said, I can get an awful, awful long time, get lots of shows out of it. 
and um, lots of practice time without having to worry about replacing them. So I think I said in one of my first videos that it seemed like one guitar, and it could have been this one here, literally literally went a year of, of gigs and, and tons of practice. So uh, we're going to pop this out. Part number here, NFX A2.3, and then um, PU, probably for pickup, right? So here's what the back of it looks like. Pick up some preamps made in Germany. So we'll get this um, we'll get this popped out of the package. Rip this little staple out and um, try to take you along a little bit. All right, guys. So I'm going to take you along with me for a second. All I did was I uh, plug this uh, preamp in, or I'm sorry, the pickup into the preamp. I uh, got a I uh, uh, got a uh, powered speaker sent here, Yamaha DBR12. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power this speaker on. I've got the input sensitivity all the way down. And I'm going to, I got this on mute, just unmuted that. I'm going to turn this volume up just a little bit on this preamp. And with any luck, I'm going to turn the volume up or the input up on the speaker here. All right, we have we have noise. So so far, no clucking or nothing, uh, no popping coming out of that or nothing like that. But if you can hear it a little bit, hope you can hear that. Anyways, uh, just a little. Um, lower end type sound coming out of the uh, speaker there. So uh, so as of right now, I say that, uh, turn this down. I say that uh, hopefully we're gonna be in better shape once we get this put back together. I wanna show you something though, give me just a sec. All right, so what I found was, in my right hand right here is the, the old, um, pickup uh, input uh, that eventually failed and what I what I should have said before is it was more like a um, the sound coming out when I would play I'd hear it through the monitors and I stepped out could hear it through uh, front of house and it was almost like it was like a clipping sound you know when you got input sensitivity on your mixer or something a little bit too high it was almost like the the clipping sound so that was the sound that it was making to me what I just found was Popping this new, I'm gonna try to keep this clean here. Popping this new uh, pickup out of the package. If you're able to see right about there, I don't know if you can, we'll see what we can do here. It's almost like there's a little piece of solder there that actually prevents this, I wanna say uh, eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter jack uh, from unscrewing from this body right here. Now, I didn't find that the uh, that my old one was unscrewed. Um, I'm the one that unscrewed it and probably finished breaking it, but it was faulty to begin with. But yeah, if you can barely see there, that means anything to you at all. This little piece of solder right there. And so it's supposed to prevent this from moving. So maybe there was a problem at one point, maybe there wasn't, um, don't know. But if we take, take the old one here and this is the old one and there was there was nothing on there at all I'm just simply uh, um, unscrewed so who knows you know um, I, I can't fault it because I, I truly don't know but we do know that uh, you know sometimes things are updated a little bit so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, this new pickup and I've never done this before so a lot of you guys probably have it's going to feed it through here um, if you're able to see down here, right on this side right there, there's a small little hole right there that I'm going to feed the, uh, the pickup through and um, give it a bend in it, um, kind of like the other one was. And then um, I'm just going to tuck her in. I showed you the pictures before on the upper bout, just some, some stick-on um, uh, clips right there to keep the uh, wire out of the way. And, uh, and like I said, we're just going to... We're just going to get our plug back in for you there. 
go back into that 8 inch jack and then um, I'll bring you back and um, we'll go uh, plug her in and uh, do some strumming after I string her up and uh, hopefully we'll be in good shape. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Don't forget to support your neck. What's that? We got noise, huh? Hey guys, uh, so we just got this uh, strung up um, and in here just got her hooked up, powered on. Uh, one thing real quick I want to tell you before I forget, the little clips that I mentioned that were inside this, the plastic like stick on ones, I really didn't want to to put the uh, the wire from the pickup back in there so I figured I would stick my finger in there and see how easy they spread apart. And they're really hard plastic from what I've seen and actually really pinched tight together and, uh, and actually one of them broke off. So the, the power output uh, to the uh, in pin jack is still in there where it was from the factory but I didn't put the new wire in there uh, while well, I ended up breaking it but it kind of it kind of worried me a little bit and I'll be honest with you when uh, I first got this guitar that pickup wire was so tight it was they from the factory it was like if this is your end pin and the, or I'm sorry the uh, the eighth inch jack and this is from the wire from the factory it was almost a 90 so I, I literally I spaced that out uh, maybe about a year ago actually right when I first heard the pop and didn't know what it was and I think maybe that had pinched it enough and it started to separate at the time but I but again like I said a little bit earlier I didn't know exactly what it was at the time um, when I started looking into things I didn't like that bend in it so anyways for now to make sure I got it right um, I didn't um, uh, I just kind of looped it to where it's kind of out of the way I don't like those extra stresses on there and honestly that uh, that that AJ220 SCE I've been playing I picked that one up recently used and that one was a little bit tight but not as tight as this one was and so I uh, I separated or I'm sorry I lengthened that one a little bit too so if you got these Epiphone guitars do what's right for you like I always say but um, that was uh, um, uh, that's what I'm gonna do if I get any more of them so um, other than that yeah just strung her up and um, uh, uh, line 6 uh, G30 right here um, only disclaimer 20 foot cord between the receiver and the uh, and the mixer if that matters to anybody but this is just I just want to make sure we got some sound um, I did put that spacer that wooden spacer I showed you in there first uh, with the pickup on top um, uh, just again not being a guitar pro just assuming well it's got to get all the uh, it can from the strings so um, um, it sounds about what it did before so so that worked I'm just going to play through for a couple minutes. This guitar is not, um, you know, strings are probably going to go out again, but it's not EQ'd to the uh, a mixer, to these speakers. I really just, just got them on. It's just one speaker you're hearing. So. <laughs> Besides a little bass heavy right now, I just want to listen for, uh, kick that down a little bit, um, just want to listen for even pickup along all six strings and things like that, so uh, luckily everything seems to be good. Uh, sounds to, uh, seems to sound about the way it did before, so...
but uh, hopefully this helps out somebody if you got one of these. Um, you started getting a uh, crack and popping sound, or if you ever just had to replace the pickup. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward. I never did it before, so hope it helps somebody. Um, do good shows, and uh, you guys be good. We will see you soon. If you want some more live sound content, check out the other videos on this channel. See you guys. Peace.